Hello guys, this is Irene Nissi, whose energy is encompassing you and what it is that they want with you guys here, okay? We're going to get started with some Romance Angels cards. That one is showing its head. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This has been exhausting you. It's been too much. It's been way too much for you. <clears throat> forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments makes sense because thinking about this trying to fix things um, waiting for someone else to acknowledge you and your efforts or acknowledge their um, part in something I mean that that gets to be exhausting you know because you want it to be effortless right so if it doesn't happen organically, you know, it's time to like um, it, it clear your energy field. Because once you do that and you stop focusing so much on this person, a lot of times they come back around. Okay? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. This could be that you guys have known each other for a really long time since you were youngsters. Or this could definitely be a relationship with somebody who you have children with. Okay? Children were involved in this situation. Children are involved in this situation. And it makes it hard to kind of like uh, disconnect sometimes from a situation where children are involved. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Again, clearing your energy, not focusing so much on them, a lot of times will bring that person back around. Because believe it or not, your energy plays a lot into, um, it has a lot to do with how people respond, even when you're not together. Okay? <clears throat> Who is this person? We have an Eight of Cups. Somebody that walked away from you. Somebody that felt like they needed a release. Emotionally. They were emotionally spent. They felt like they gave all that they could to a situation here. I see an energy there. Mm, this card's going to stay out. We have a Page of Wands. And we have the five, the five of wands here, um, Aries, Piscean energy. I feel like this person is somebody that has a hard time acknowledging, you know, where they went wrong or acknowledging any responsibility in how a situation um, played out but I feel like this person is taking the time now to reflect on the petty arguments you know how they could have just walked away from certain arguments because sometimes it's what it takes to make relationships work right you just choose not to argue you choose not to battle each other. And I feel like this person's reflecting. But they were very petty. Very petty in their arguments. Like if you said something, they would say the opposite just because it was the opposite of what you were saying. You know. Hmm. Somebody that struggles with their own movement in this life. And a lot of times people will put things on you. Call projecting. When they cannot deal with themselves. And I feel like that's what this person was doing to you. And the moon. Hmm. They have a lot of deep feelings for you. This person has mommy issues. 
they have mommy issues it's cancer energy here something happened to them in their childhood and I don't think they're just I don't think they're trusting of women I don't think they're trusting at all mm -mm. and I don't feel like um, they acknowledge a woman's point of view well not that they don't acknowledge a woman's point of view but I feel like at the end of the day they feel like um, they're supposed to have the last word or they're supposed to um, make the decisions like ultimately I don't know whether you guys being so strong and being self-sufficient because I feel like I'm talking to someone here that it's very self-sufficient very independent um, it, it made them feel less than and so they were constantly like poking at you but I feel like they did that because something in their childhood with their mother um, made them feel less than made them feel like they you know they weren't being heard they weren't being seen so you know that plays out in their adult relationships they want to be heard they want to be seen even if it they're not right I mean you know so let's see okay six of cups they think about you they think about making amends with you Scorpio energy they don't want you to leave their life for good they really don't they want to make it right with you this is what they're feeling though I'm not saying that they're actually going to take action on it and then we have the Hierophant here Taurus energy they're in search of the answers I feel like this person's come a long way they've come a long way they're searching for answers they're trying to figure things out I feel like they definitely want something um, traditional with you they're growing I feel like this person may have um, been in therapy or they've talked to some uh, mentor, father figure, even. About just life issues, getting their opinion on things. We have temperance here, yeah. They just weren't happy within themselves. The way they feel for you, or the way they felt for you even then, if this is a past situation for you, the way they felt, they didn't necessarily show that to you. There's the Emperor there, that Aries energy. Because the Emperor does just that. The emperor may come across kind of cold and non-feeling, but they definitely have feelings. But they can also be argumentative. They can also be kind of bullheaded, stubborn, and stand by beliefs that they don't necessarily believe in, but they're not going to let you know that <laughs> is the thing. Ace of Cups. This person loves you. They love you. But there's a lot of healing that um, they needed to, to do. They felt a lot of betrayals. People doing things right in front of them, disregarding them. I feel like um, there's a situation here where they felt rejected or uh, put off by a parent, for sure. Yeah. What do they really want with 
my Capricorns. Okay. That's one. One more. Oh, okay. Looks like we got about four in here. So we'll start with this one. What do they really want with you? Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. They want to enter your life, but there's 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 something around you. It's not time is a thing. They want to enter your life. It's just not time yet. Ooh, lots of cards here. Kane, pay attention to your health. Holding on to this is not good for you. It's not best for you. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. Some of you are very distraught, very hurt. Hmm. This person is sick as hell over you guys. And I feel like, I feel like, you know, um, you may be feeling the same thing because when when you have two people that are so intertwined energetically sometimes you can feel what they feel and I feel like this person is heartbroken and it's probably why you're having a hard time letting go because they are not letting go they're not letting go it's spilling over to you well, great worry over nothing. What they're feeling is affecting you. Excuse me, guys. I got something in my eye. Hang on one second. Oh, my. <clears throat> and then Vine, seek out information that will help you. And I feel like, again, that's what they've been doing here. Talking to someone. Trying to get some advice here. But I feel like they're, they're wanting advice on what to do with you, but I think really and truly they probably need some therapy because it's much deeper than what went on with you guys here. And you will receive a gift. You will receive a gift. I feel like that that may come in the form of an apology for you okay so that's what I have for you guys and um, I'll be speaking with you soon bye now